It's another table Whoa. 13. Uh, I am a wooden leg. Above me is Shady Ankle Bottoms and Mr. E. And today we are doing another session of Microscope in Terminal, the the, the fake world that we're we're working on right now. I mean, it's really fake. Or uh, well, okay, that's, it. <laughs> that's true. Okay. The fictional world. I guess it'd be weird if we were working on a real world microscope game. That'd you know, be what, that's much weird. That, was that they right. are. There's, Hi. By coming up with this, we have now created the, the board guys here. Just, uh, is happening, yeah, so. just, just yeah. <laughs> uh, dictating your uh, your past. Um, but no, we're we're, we're doing microscope rather than you know the the real world. Um, and we is it my turn? Is that is that correct? It is. I believe. I believe it is your turn. You are okay. the lines this time. Wonderful. Um, I realized rather quickly that going over and giving everybody an overview every time would be longer and longer every time. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, we'll give you a, just a, a a brief rundown of the the world. Um, this is sort of a post apocalyptic, um, fantasy world. With with uh, you know, basically certain things that are still around from before the apocalypse, they're called titans, and there's about forty seven different types of them now. Thanks yes. to Siren. Yes. Well, I think um, my favorite is glitter glitter sparkle titan. Yes. Oh um, god, that's not a thing. I'm banning that. I'm putting that on the ban. No, <laughs> no glitter based glitter. Uh, life forms <laughs> no glitter. whatsoever. There's no glitter <laughs> in this world. There's no, no glitter. glitter. Oh. <laughs> And uh, basically, it's it's this this kind of outlines the main events that kind of create this world and the different like main huge, you know, story storyline um, sort of events that have occurred. Um, it, it goes it it has a few different factions and different. Uh, I'm gonna looks like battles, transition us like over that. to the uh, the terminal page here. Oh, I yeah, can yeah, pick yeah. my nose. Woo! Yes, and a P. It sounds like. <laughs> I'm filling up my enormous mug uh, of uh yes. Yeah, well obviously as soon as Go I get off the... camera I just start urinating. Right, yes. <laughs> as is tradition. You're just not <laughs> supposed to make it so obvious. Uh -huh. Um anyway, this is the microscope page that we've gotten so far here. I'll zoom out for you guys. As you can see, we've got quite a few things going on now. Uh above these boxes are our ages. And then down here are the events that happened in these there, ages. There should change the colors periods. of the periods. periods. Okay, periods, yeah, whatever. It's the same orange. idea. Events and yeah. scenes. The things on the left underneath the periods are the events, and the scenes are to the right. And if you've watched any of these yet or popped in for the rerun um, prior to this, the, uh, you know, the, that would, you'd have an idea of how these all sort of play together. Um, but just as a, a general rule, the periods are long swaths of time. The events are things that happen within those. And then the scenes are small bits of, of um, you know, little like 10 minute scenarios or hour scenarios that happen within those events. And they all sort of play together to create a timeline. And we pop through it from place to place, sort of fleshing it out. Um, one, one, one event or series of scenes event or scene or period of the time yep so it is kyron's turn we've done one whole round i believe now yes we have um so that's one one round um yep. and and you can really go for as long as you want on this um you could play it forever it would get very very complicated and very very convoluted but you could um but anyway it's kyron's turn what is the yep. focus uh the focus okay uh remind me of the rules the focus does not have to be something already on the board right no it can be anything no okay. yeah you can make up a new it's just a noun basically cool okay either proper or not i think it's usually a proper noun but frequently you have other events and stuff. Oh boy. The Spear of Artemis. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't like how you spelled Artemis. Yeah, I didn't want to necessarily take the. Uh, I, I did misspell it on purpose. Okay. Uh, just because I didn't necessarily want it to be a carbon. The same Artemis is in our world. All right. Okay. So, so 
the Spear of Artemis. Yes. Uh, Must be one hell of off. a thing. Yes. Uh-huh. Feels We're like it's be... some Spear of Destiny type yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, kind of got... Um, yeah. I'm going to... A relic. Put... Across the ages. Aaron put the... <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened? It you, was just you, a D. Your for contribution a was D. Oh, for a while there. <laughs> that's good. Enjoyed that. I put that there actually. <laughs> Slap the D up there. Where where is where is where 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 is it? Yeah, I lost. I it. haven't started writing it yet. I deleted it. Oh, no. it. how dare you! I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so um, sorry. Where where are you putting it? Where's it gonna go? I'm I making a period. I'm making a period. period. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. A whole period for the spear. Well, yeah. it's not. It's. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be just for the spear. Fair enough. It's just got to involve it. That's right. Cool. Oh, this is this is rough. <laughs> I don't want to help move stuff because I feel like I'll just screw it up. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, I get but... it. Oh shit! So when does when does Bradley become a fucking ageless? Right. Yeah. <laughs> At some point, Bradley. Something to do with the this old old spear here. I betcha. Find a way to tie it in here nope. this round. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna nope. do it. You can't you nope. can't stop me. It's gonna be um I just delete the padlet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bud. Uh, oh my god. Age of broken artifacts. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So all right, it's a bunch of artifacts. We've got to... Okay, okay. So it seems like there's a, like, sort of a, a period where people are just kind of floating on the tech of the previous age. Right. Uh, sort of stuff that's being recovered out of these vaults. Um, and then eventually they sort of, they figure out this nether site situation, yeah. um, to a point where it's like able to let them put up little habitation domes all over yeah. the place. It's looking like I'm going to have to, I was going to do something about the free cities, but I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I'm trying to figure out how to make. So it doesn't specifically mention the spear to be a butt. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me a second here. It's still going. My bad. Let's see. Um, if you don't, if you don't do something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Break your spear. Oh dang, dude! I mean, yeah. Then. Uh, so, after the discovery of the vaults, a great deal of precast catastrophe. I can read words. Weapons and tools are discovered that enable the creation of a large number of nation states. Okay, uh, the weapons cannot be repaired. Repair, repaired or maintained it's both of those things together is repaired repair, repair, or maintained I maintained uh, <laughs> main pain sounds badass right. um <laughs> and eventually decay main painting is like tanking and mmos um main pain, okay. oh, main that's good. pain. or um like a wrestler name. That's a good, good wrestler. 
Maybe finishing move rather than a rest. It's time for the main pain. <laughs> <laughs> And his name is Main Pain. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Off the turnstile. <laughs> <Main Pain. laughs> it's no good. You don't want that. Sorry for that. How ASMR are you? <laughs> God. I'm sorry. I didn't think about it. Damn it. Mike you defined the spirit of Artemis and took away what I was going to do. You ruined oh. me. Kyron, you ruined me. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, the uh, the period doesn't technically mention the spear outright. I don't know if that's allowed. You're kinda, <laughs> or I guess it's like included in... Uh, right, it's one of the artifacts. stuff must be there. Yeah. yeah. I mean... <laughs> Well, I mean, it can loosely. I, I could put something in there. Is that allowed? Okay. I, thought, I figured it had to be like, it had to be present in the box, but I guess. Fair enough. I think I had one I could have fudged that way um, before that I just bailed on. Oh, well. I forget now. So, is this one, are you... Are you finished on it, or you have you're you're still typing? Oh God, what have you done? Um, okay. The fuck. <laughs> okay. All right. Discovery of the Spear of Artemis, Artimus. Uh. Within a deep red vault opened by the Kratican mages, a legendary weapon called the Spear of Artumus is discovered <laughs> along with a large store of other weapons. Only able to be wielded by a human with Titan blood. I would, but, but aren't they robots? <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> Titans are in it. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I did put Titan blood in quotes because it's sure, very, yeah, no, yeah, it's some sort of colloquial term for a thing. Uh, um, so there's oh, a, it has the power to command weather systems. Yep, nice. This it's just a little guy there causing hurricanes and such. I guess you could use it for terraforming. Uh, it'd be yeah. pretty good. All right. All right, so Why would goes... you need any of this other? Because this stuff breaks eventually. Yep. Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, the, oh, man. What is it? What's that show called? Say a Saints or something like that? This is this makes me feel like we're going to end up with... There's probably nobody I don't know what <laughs> who has any yeah, idea. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's kind of like a Power Rangers-esque uh, show. Oh, that's wonderful. Stuff. You'd be all about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, there's it's like a Japanese gross yeah, reinterpretation of like Greek mythology. It's great. It's like Ooh. what we do with their stuff. So it's super good. Just like broad strokes and arbitrary colors and animals being associated <laughs> with certain stuff. It's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um. What are we? Who's next? Is it? It is, is it me? you. Okay, yes. Me. Oh man. Okay. I was um trying to fill for time, but <laughs> uh, well, yeah. So it's my things. turn, I guess, to fill for time. No, that's fair. Um. All right. So I just make one mm -hmm. uh Thing. event or scene. Yes. I think. You're can you make an age? I think you can make you an can age. You can make a period yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah or a period. Sorry, I keep using the wrong right. terminology. We're calling them ages a lot. Yeah. There's well, I mean, times. it's the same, you know, basic idea, right? Mm -hmm. It just means no. a long period of time. <laughs> Could be eons, you know? Epochs. Epochs. I don't I don't like the word epoch. It's not, uh, and I'm a big fan. I don't know, I like your drawing glove. Thank you. That's a drawing Whoa, okay, so it doesn't, okay. 
I've been I've been using my uh, my girlfriend's drawing tablet to try to best you in map making again. <laughs> it's like an arms race. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting over here with like <laughs> MS Paint quality <laughs> stuff. Like you guys are fools. <laughs> Okay, so what you um, doing? what you thinking? Things and stuff. Think oh, out loud. Wow. <laughs> All right, thinking out loud. So, um, <laughs> I uh, said that I wanted uh, old old paper uh, Bali who to still be um, involved and stuff. I think he's gonna. Do, 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 do. Um, boom, boom, boom. I, I think he's going to end up with the spear somehow. I'm trying to figure it out. I guess it's, if it's already discovered and the lost vault hadn't been cracked yet, he can't find it during that. That's what I was going to do. Right. That's not, that's a shame. That would have been the easy one. Um, but. Uh, the age of Kratikin rules where that comes off. Okay, so um, we'll we'll go ahead and put the spear in there somewhere. Make it uh, okay a part of how um yes the el sorry how the elves end up doing uh their 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 de their deal how they get free. Um, I guess I'll leave Carl available to be a person who exists <laughs> for that. But I kind of wanted to just do it before then, so he's not just some random guy who eats a titan. Later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but let's see here. Boom. Let me figure out if I remember how to work this stuff. Whatever, I'll just start typing and then connect the stuff after the fact. But Blah. so the um uh elves actually I can still put that before uh Carl. I will do that. So yes. Establishment of the oh, what are we gonna call it? Uh, it will be yuck. I spelled. Uh, <laughs> predominantly Elvin. Um, uh, it's gonna be they're an Elvin organization of some variety that gets a hold of the spear and uses it to nice. Okay, uh, get a bit of their own thing going on. Man, I feel like we should make some sort of like chart to determine what what titans are what. But, Shit, I mean, but really though, we've got I, titans, we we we've need got to start. This, that we've was got gonna be titans, my. We've got neo titans. We've got so many uh, now yeah. to start um, defining here. But um, yeah, so the establishment of the fellowship, predominantly elven population, which sets up. Excuse me. Uh, that was super good. Get that on air for everybody. <laughs> Predominantly yeah. elven population, which sets up several habitation domes, uh, powered by the Spear of Artemis, uh, you know, following their freedom from, uh, you know, sort of immediately following their freedom from slavery, the Kratic and Mutiny stuff. I'll touch that up here in a moment, but, um, that is, that is my thing. All nice. the way down here. So the spear doesn't break for a while. Eat it. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's the best spear. And it's, I assume, not literally a spear. Otherwise, what the fuck is it? Like, what? Right, yeah. We're talking about, like, now this, super like tech and habitation domes and stuff. <laughs> right, sure. It's like a, it's like a super it's tech like a, spear. A trident. Uh, Better than a coffee of, cup. Of it's Poseidon's trident. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. Maybe not. <laughs> Depends on what the coffee cup does, right? Like, it could be the best damn coffee cup in the world. Brett, I believe it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Ooh, wow. Boy. I love things. Are we doing a thing? Yeah. What you doing? We are going to do this. Um. Oh, caps lock is what we're doing. Caps lock. Caps lock! All right. Um. Uh. After the elves. Awake of the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers um, do sound more and more like titans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are. They are titans. They were certain. They, they were, were the just titans elven I, titans. Yep. <laughs> I think they're all the same thing. Just oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This right. all starts to make more sense then, though. <laughs> honestly, <Yeah. laughs> like, they're just called different things. <laughs> right, just it's just like what they call like, the gatekeepers are the ones that fight for the elves. The right mm. nether titans work for this is kind of cool. There's like mecha robot like battle arena time every yeah, day. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm have, about that shit. I have a few ideas <laughs> written down that that are gonna be as I've yeah. mentioned. Big fan of Power Rangers, so anything that's related to giant robot fights, you got me. Like, I'm sold. <laughs> Exarch, I thought it was Eunuch, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Eunuch top it. <laughs> like, that's a shame, bud. I mean, I guess not. Maybe if you're in, whatever. You do you, but <laughs> I'd be upset. Okay, I'm going to try to play some background music. It might be crazy okay. loud, so... Well, maybe... <laughs> we should sort of figure this out to check before, before we, we go live. Ah. Yeah, and then not well, test then it I, out. Because okay, I remember... So the, music, because... the music that you're playing is going to be captured from your desktop audio. Right. So as long as it competes with our voices, or doesn't compete with our voices, then you're fine. Right. Okay, well, here. Everyone listening, hang on. Welcome to Call of the Bear. Wild. Hey everyone, this is Monster Cat's weekly radio show, connecting you with some of your favorite artists. Oh, everyone, this is terrible. Paris. Hey guys, this is Call. That's terrible. Nope. I apologize, what? everybody. A nice, solid was talk just, radio. Um, it was just fucking, yeah, there's just... Don't... Talk. It's fine. Anyway. We'll just... That's not helpful, <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm just gonna... What do you... What's he got? The the, the great, great flood. flood. After the elves great awaken flood. the gatekeepers, Exarch Toppin on the um, step steps to become Archmage. Uses the spear of Artemis to flood the elven habitation vaults. Ooh, neat. Okay. Flooding habitation vaults. Big big fan. So that's cool because it doesn't necessarily. I mean, it could just be like there's still room. Okay, never mind. Not anymore. <laughs> I was like, there's still room for that to not be like an ultimately bad thing for, for the elves. That could just be like, oh yeah, fuck this place. You don't live here anymore. And then it's See, like, it's not me no, killing it's... elves this time. Like, it's not me killing things. I haven't oh, killed yeah. anything. You're bringing so many things into existence. Right? So many well, different things. You guys are I all mean, like, they're things that kill things. things. I mean, <laughs> I, now you're splitting hairs. Now you're splitting hairs. <laughs> yep, I guess. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm, I, my contribution has been noted. Okay. 
I have Excellent. noticed your note, note, noting. Annotated the no. uh, What uh, what uh, uh, goes back to Chiron then, right? Yes. Like senior. Oh boy. I just felt like the the knife ear subjugation didn't have enough subjugating knife ears. Yeah, no, that's a big problem. We don't really actually do any of that. It just kind of talks about it. Some of the the reasons why some of this stuff happened because, like, we there's other things because like you got a lot of loose ends. Give you specifics, but there are other periods that are not defined very heavily by their events. Yeah, I get what you mean. <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> it's really not even right. There'd have to be another eye, but it still makes me giggle. <laughs> the <Neapolitan. laughs> <laughs> Quick aside, but Kyron, did you did you do the the monster cat thing? Yes, that was monster, monster cat. cat. That was terrible. It was garbage. Never again. Oh, just people talking. Just people it was just talking. an interlude Over. between. Yeah. I think, but it yes, just was bad obviously. timing. It was also very loud. Mm, it was a Will bit. you send me the credentials next time you're not making stuff? I'm gonna try to get something sure. set up to where it can be utilized. Yeah. So what do we got here? Creation of the Neo-Titans. Using the power source of the Spear of Artemis, their knowledge and their knowledge of the Nezite technology. Uh, who does? Hmm? Uh, oh. Create the Neo-Titans. Uh, sorry. Blank. Extra space. Create Neo-Titans. The excellent. High level. Oh my god, they are fucking Gundams. Like, yes! Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Yes! Why? Why? <laughs> because fuck girl. <laughs> Pacific Rim was the one that made that like. It was like, oh wow. This is silly. Like, Brain. giant robots are really unreasonable. <laughs> Like, just put a big gun on, like, a tank. <laughs> it's way more efficient. Or a plane, or, or something. Like, dealing with a whole, like, humanoid <laughs> structure <laughs> that makes something that can walk upright and shoot a bunch of guns. Like, just put the guns on wheels. <laughs> um. So... Uh, and then I'm... Oh, actually, yes. Okay. The Kratikans. I'm going to do a scene. And scene. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is it dictated? Y- no. Mm. Okay. (laughs) So, fuck yes. Um, I am going to need at least two pilots, like two the orphan. Um, a series of gun possible pilots, and then an instructor, or is some kind of head scientist <laughs> who's leading a project leader there you go so yeah i need two okay. possible pilots and a project leader all righty um so then it goes to uh it, we go backwards so shady goes first as mystery then i pick last do we do you 
um, um i set the scene after we set the scene a little pick, bit well uh, so or yeah you guys are or or there is these three individuals are it's you guys have gone through like the training program you're the last or whoever these last two pilots are the they're the top of their class they've gone through everything you know there's been hundreds and hundreds of people that have gone by the wayside and this is the final test and then whoever is the instructor gets to decide the final test okay okay so yeah so it's, we'll... it's maverick and ice man right um, yes exactly we're going for that kind competing. of feel you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay. All so right. it goes to you, um, Mr. E, first, and then it goes to Shady, and then I'm the last one to pick. All right. Then, um, uh, oh boy, this is toughy. I suppose I will play, um, name will be, uh, Francis Thoroughgood. And he is one of the uh, uh, potential pilot uh, candidates here. Um, okay. What was his name again? Francis Thoroughgood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this happening again? Okay. Uh, this is... Broken artifacts. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. in the creation of the Neo Titans, yeah. So, so is this I'm a humanity playing. core situation or is this no, no, no. It's just Kratos, Kratos, and mages. Yeah. Kratos and mages, right? Yeah. Gotcha. I'm playing Albert Highfeather. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, my friends call me Psych. Psych. Um, he's uh, he's he, he's one of the the potential pilots for this. Oh, cool. Okay. Neo Titan. All right. Uh, so I will play, uh. Uh, Brad Gravelfist. Okay. Uh, he is the combat instructor for the Neo Titan project. Um, he gets final say in determining if w which one of you gets to pilot the first fully activated Neo Titan. All right. Okay. Then we do our character spots and feelings yes. and stuff. And again, right. starting with uh, Mr. E. So Francis is... Uh... Oh, boy. Um, so I think he's, yeah, he's been, like, uh, working hard to climb his way up the ranks of, uh, I guess, like, the Kratikan society here. I'm not really... Okay. Sure. Well, I mean, you get to make it up. Do, 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 do. So this is uh, sorry. I'm yeah. I'm trying to read back over some of the stuff. Uh, another site based technology. Broken artifacts. Okay, so this is. I feel like this is, um, still potentially like a place where uh the humanity core and uh, the Kratikan mages are still sort of fighting together. Oh, okay, sure. They have because I mean it doesn't. I'm trying to make sure I'm not reading that well, wrong, but I don't think the, anything here is required that they've split. Is that right? Uh, Kratikan mages denounced by the Humanity Corps in the very like the age before. Right, but they're just denounced. They're not. I mean, yeah, it doesn't necessarily right. say. Oh, and are exiled. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I missed. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, he's uh just I guess a member of the uh what we'll say the Kratikan uh Marines, cool, and he's been uh you know fighting his way through the uh the ranks here for a while. Um, it's probably like an the like an old uh, yeah, been been work, yeah, long time in the service kind of thing, and uh. Okay. Yeah, sort of done a lot of various military <laughs> actions here, I suppose. So he just sort of assumes that this is like his, he's, he, you know, sees himself like a master chief kind of guy. So he's like, of course, this will be me. Duh. Right. Yeah. I'm the main character. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
All right, uh, Albert Highfeather. Albert Highfeather is uh, he's he's ex Humanity Corps. Um, Ooh, okay. He's uh, he he's very short sighted and sees himself as clearly the best pilot. Um, he's got a, a ton of military um, experience and, and stuff like that. Um, but he because he used to um, essentially fight for the Humanity Corps, he, his his motivations and and that have been called into question in the past, even though he really hasn't given anybody reason to believe that they still, you know, no, he's been called out for it he, before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Hume. me. <laughs> Earth, uh, um, he, he is, um, very, you know, he, he feels like he's the best suited for it because he's just the best suited for it. He's the best right. at it. And, uh, and, and he's, uh, going into this very, very um, confident in his ability. Okay. Sorry, so your your call sign was Psych, right? Yep. Uh, I think I want to go with... Oh, God. I'm going to just steal one from top... Uh, <laughs> okay, it's it's man. funny. Uh, no. Uh, although Val Kilmer's the man, um, <laughs> I will go Ice with man. Jester, because that's probably Ooh, the best okay. call sign from that movie, I think. Merlin's pretty solid too. Okay. I'll go with Jester. Um which is probably a like an ironic one because he's not he doesn't he, I would imagine Francis is pretty straight laced and, and serious most of the time. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna change Brad Gravelfist just uh, just a little bit. Uh he okay. is the he is the project lead, but he is the um uh uh um uh shit, what are more the sink uh, uh, plumber. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, he is the person in charge of the neural sync technology. So he is a neuroscientist who's leading the oh, project. So it's Doctor Gravelfist. Yes, Doctor Gravelfist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doctor Gravelfist. Doctor Gravelfist. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, um, um, should become a, like a private eye or something, but it's it's all right. This um, will do. He's been the one to test you guys on syncing with the Titans uh, mm-hmm. or the Titan itself. You've been practicing, uh, like, okay. like a lot like simulations, like or simulations. Whatever. Yeah, but it's always been with simulated Titans. It hasn't been actually with the 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 Neo Titan, which I have named Anubis. By the way, the very Anubis. first Neo Titan was right. Anubis. Can we like pick a pantheon here, or are we just gonna right? go? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, so the Neo Titans are all gonna be named after gods, or of okay. some of some variety. Of which, but, like, of which Vishnu pantheon? was <laughs> the first, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, whatever. Well, the very They've first... all been god inspired. Right. It sounded well, like mean, Vishnu, that's... I guess. But... Yeah. So it should have been. Well, that's not, not. That's not. That's not a Neo Titan. That's just a Titan. Okay. <laughs> the first Neo Titan we talk about is Seth, S- Seraph. Yeah, all right. That's um, fair. Anyway, so uh, uh, Doctor Gravelfist is um, Doctor Gravelfist is very worried about either of your ability to fully sync with the uh, uh, the Neo Titan um, because it the 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 Neo Titans are uh cloned titans that have been like genetically engineered through oh, neosite so they are not What's completely neosite nether site nether site sorry okay i was going to um, say is that a new thing no no no, no. <laughs> nether site yeah uh and so it's it, yeah, that like with the simulations you can get desynced but with this the uh titan can actually like eat you mentally like you just become oh. part of its nervous system if you aren't strong enough in in like willpower which is bad okay doke. he's worried about that happening um oh. so I, i'll set the scene here uh you guys are on the pro- the the bridge that overlooks the 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 titan forge that they have been constructing this very first neo titan um, the thing stands probably about eight stories tall, and you're on a walkway overlooking the uh, the the forge below, right next to its head. 
Um, there is a a like a hatch uh, on the forehead that leads to the cockpit inside. Uh, and it's open right now. The Neotitan is actually breathing. You can see it, like, moving up and down. Um, and Dr. Gravelfist is standing in front of it, kind of at a terminal, where he's typing a last last few lines of code or passwords to start up the, the systems. And uh, as you guys cross the walkway and come over to him, he looks up and adjusts his glasses and says, about time. God, it's beautiful. Is it, uh, it looks like, uh, it looks like it's breathing. Am I, uh, am I imagining that or is that like actually happening? That's actually happening. It's got to keep the biological parts of it, uh, functional. Right. That's... Um, sorry, go ahead. That's, uh, this is the last step of your, uh, your training. He kind of goes underneath the pull terminal and uh, pulls out, you know, like kind of like one of those matrix uh, brainstem plugs that's leading from the, the hatch, from like the cockpit, and out onto the walkway. He says, uh, this will uh, jack you into the, uh, the Neotitan's nervous system, but it won't allow you full control. This is just to see whether you can maintain your will against the Titans. Well, I'm full of will. Um, give it here. I'll, I'll give it a shot. All right, you have your uh, your neural port cleaned out. Oh, it's uh, very... <laughs> <laughs> got him. Now hold on just a second. Let me get it cleaned out for you. Do you reach his back? Do you need a Q-tip? I know, do you get a lot of dandruff Like a cotton there? ball, <laughs> get something, you know, you dab it with a little bit of the yeah, denatured alcohol. You really you don't want it. a stray hair, you know, messing up the, the signals and getting a seizure. That's you why that, I, like... when, I, when I shave my head, I have to lay down so it doesn't go down into there. Right. Um, I, it's, it's, it's all, it's all oh. primed and ready for you. <laughs> I do the laser uh, hair removal. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you think you're better than me just because <laughs> I will look, I mean, you know, it's just efficient. <laughs> Keeps the luscious locks away from. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, you, he hands you the cord and you jack it into the back of your head. Uh, <laughs> he, he punches like the enter key and you feel the neotitan or I guess, like, you both make contact with each other. Oh, wait, are we both? Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, one at a time. Uh, them both. Yeah, those those two. Um, uh, I kind of want to do this, like, with random number generation. Is that... That sounds... That sounds like got fun. got a dice roller in yeah. the uh, Discord. The Discord, the... yeah, yeah. Uh, but Brett, go to go to Godland. Or, or sorry, the bot channel in, in our Rational Radio Discord. And uh, roll me a like a one d four. Okay. <laughs> Problem is, <laughs> if, if I you fail, I just have it. to succeed. <laughs> there we go. Two. Uh. So you uh. The uh. You you plug it in, and you feel the neotitan. It's like its presence, and so do you. How do you how do you approach this? Like you were you were commanded to basically like like dominate the Neotitan through willpower. So you okay. it's, you you can see that you or you can feel it's it's like physical and emotional presence through this this connection. Okay. Um, I think that he is like I said he's very short sighted. Um, he's very confident. So I think his approach to this is blunt force. Okay. You know, he, he feels it there and then he dominates it or attempts to. Okay. So you basically attempt to exert your will over this, this entity and you can feel it give a little bit before there is an overwhelming force that comes through this, this, 
this down this wire and into your head and you are you, you're you basically have a seizure uh dr uh, gravel fist runs over and he unplugs the neural port from your brain as there's like a few sparks coming like arcing from the neural port back to the plug and you hear dr gravel fist suck through his teeth like well he's not going to be using that neural port for a while yeah it'd be be touchy i i i would i would bet a little, little sensitive maybe am i am um, i conscious uh yes but you're you're having a seizure <laughs> oh, I thought that I was on. Okay, never mind. I feel like that's like not necessary. I don't know. Depends on uh, uh, I, I guess not conscious. Anyway. probably in robot land right now. Uh, well, he st- is he still? No, he unplugged you. So you're right, okay. I'm still. Yes. So, uh, sure. like, I guess, yeah. Like, uh, do we got like? Do you have like a medical tech or something? I yeah. feel like there should be somebody help. But like, we should make sure he doesn't like swallow he, his tongue uh, or whatever. His, he nods and snaps his fingers, and two medics come down with a with a cot and they uh. Uh, they resuscitate you, um, Albert. So you are uh, resuscitated, um, and they haven't moved you yet. Uh, Doctor Gravelfist is handing out the cord, or handing Francis the uh, the end of the cord. You're next. It's a rough luck there, psych. Um, haha. <laughs> he's hoping I don't join you, and then uh, he like sits down in the chair or whatever it is. Uh, roll me a, a d4. Oh, good. See, the problem is now we just might, I might fail and <laughs> nobody can pilot it. Because I rolled uh, the exact same. So yeah, you plug time. your, uh, the, the cord in, you feel the Titan. Uh, how do you go about this? Um... I think he's probably like reasonably freaked out uh, by this whole thing. So uh, if uh, I guess you're saying that he's like, there's a presence that he feels connected mm-hmm. to. He's gonna try and like, con- I don't know, communicate with it in some way, shape, or form. Just like reach out to see if it, um, you know, like express no ill intent kind of thing. I don't know how commu- it would work as we're t- like touching brains right. here. But, it's more of like um, feeling rather than right, words. Yeah, and uh. just give the impression that he means no harm and kind of like uh, show flashes of, of, of who he is and what he's trying to do kind of thing, I guess. Um, and, you know, through his, his brain hole. Uh, so you uh, uh, kind of like reach out and it retracts at first and as you show like or think of images from your past it starts to slowly kind of like accept you uh and slowly kind of start to surround you in a in a mental state and it's it's not until it has almost completely surrounded you that you realize it's also engulfing you and you slip into the stream of the Neotitan and uh, Francis tumbles over his body empty. Uh, Dr. Gravelfist sighs and uh, says, well, I guess it's uh, up to me. And he plugs the thing in the back of his head. And oh, snap. He has to succeed, so he does. So the neuros- I mean, uh, or he, uh, you know, oh, okay. it's like piloted by the spirit of. Uh, of yeah. Francis. Well, here, let me roll it, a it. d4. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, that's you know, it doesn't matter either. Way, no, 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 uh, that's a, there that, is no. There's a chance. Do some dragoon shit from yeah. uh, Starcraft if anybody's familiar. Exclamation oh, it's point. exclamation. Oh point. shit! Fools! I'm doing even <laughs> odds, so odds were successes. Gotcha. I rolled a 2-2. You two. did it again. So, <laughs> oh. He plugs his, his head in, and then he, his eyes roll up into the back of his head, and his ears start bleeding. Um, but the Neo-Titan is still piloted by the spirit of Francis Thorogood. Okay. But so, it, um... Yeah. Is Francis hey, still a person? No. So. Uh, or is or is he just a titan now? No. Hold on. Are titans just like people in giant robots? Like like 
the souls the of people fleshy in, robots right in big old by that's maybe. great yeah well i mean at least maybe this, this neo is that like, yeah, I mean yeah. that's kind of what this seems to establish is that that's maybe that's what they consider a success now. Like I guess. Oh, if if you're like uh, if you download, oh, that's interesting. Like so pilots aren't pilots; they're 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 like the fucking thing. Yeah, like when they get the shot, they're system. getting yeah. shot. Yeah. You know? yeah, it's like there isn't a co there isn't a pilot. There's a, a like a an animating soul oh, or something. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Yeah, I Titans really like are now that. a very interesting prospect. Suddenly, um, not that they weren't before, but like they have they've they have a little now. bit more depth. You know, yeah, because that makes the original Titans probably something similar, right? Or uh, or 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 in concept anyway. or delicious yeah. definition make the boys go crazy. Yes, that's true. I've heard that. What should be called? Uh, it should be called like the process of of downloading yourself into a titan, like sacrificing oh, your like, body uh, to sinking. I don't. I mean, that's uh, not great. Uh, I don't like that uh, one. That sinking upstream. feeling. Yeah. Uh, Upstreams. Be first to uh, upstream into a titan. Like that's what that's what I'm looking for. Is like an a verb to, uh, to describe true. becoming one with a titan. Hmm. So super fusion. Ah. Transcension. Ooh, I like yeah, trans I, I I like ascension. Yeah, or as yeah. Okay. Um I was gonna do like apotheosis or something. That's a weird word for it. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Um ascension. This is the second time this week that apotheosis has come up as a word in two different contexts. Okay. For me personally. <laughs> Need. They change something. <laughs> Keep an eye out for windows that have been bricked over. <laughs> oh, they got mouse. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that. Um. Okay. So Francis Thurgood. Was the first human to ascend into a Neo Titan, becoming the Titan's uh, wheel. Uh huh. Uh huh. I guess. Well, like he's more like the the Titan's an agent of his will, right? Uh. I guess. Or so. well, in this sense, he I'm using like... agent in a free will respect. Like the the agent inside of a free will having entity is the thing that possesses the free will. So basically. The pilot becomes the Titan's free will. Okay. Uh, and that was my turn. Then it goes to Mr. E for the legacy. Mr. E for the legacy. It's a mystery legacy. So. So. Uh... <laughs> So when does Bipper Bolly Bolly who get to get to run a, mm -hmm. a, a Neo Titan? Right, exactly. Right, fucking well, now. This is how too? This is how people become immortal. Uh, it seems like this is at least one. Uh, yeah, one means one, of it. One means of it. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> makes it really silly. That, <laughs> uh, that Pepper becomes like it's like how the fuck like who even. Like he like snuck into a military facility. That well, is like... also how people get Titan blood. Oh yeah, okay. okay. That's what Titan blood is. Literally, it's compatibility. Titan... Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay. Oh, so like weapons with Titan, like you have to be a Titan in order to to wield them. That's what I'm thinking. So cool. all of those fucking artifacts, are t dude. Stop it. Sorry. Yeah, quit moving them to the middle. What are you doing? Why? They're gonna if they have scenes on them, we're gonna have to slide them all over. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> Kyron's the, the 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 thief. Yes. Okay. So sorry, my my legacy here. Um, this is uh, Sparta. 
<laughs> the it's it's not. Um, you know, I regret picking Paper Belly. Who? So, I, <laughs> am I allowed pick to pick one. a new one? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a thing we can do. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, okay. So I think that I want to instead. Um, Uh, so the human lords all right uh then i think i am going to uh put an event after uh that uses carl um old carl i can pick any of the legacies right for yeah. the event that i or the, any, the thing anything that, that has oh yeah yeah any of the legacies yep but you can also pick a new legacy for yourself from the the board i like this this this, this what we got cooking here Is it not like Devourer? Is that not? It a doesn't word? like Devourer. It is a weird word, I guess. But... Brush my cock with a bird. Is it? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, the Great Devourer. <laughs> it's going to bother me forever now. Um, <laughs> God. Okay. So, yeah, the Great Devourer uh, d d defeats the um, human. Or overthrows the human lords, I guess. Nice. Overthrows the Wada Wada, huh? The human lords. Human lords. It's what's in the Age of Craddock and Rule thing. Um, so he uh, must attain position uh, within the Craddock and Mages. And then, yeah, he's going to, I think, end up using... Uh, some of the notoriety that he's that he gains from eating uh, Seraph, which is an interesting prospect. So, now. so that I think is a reverse ascension. Right, it's someone putting a titan inside of them instead of them going inside of a titan. What the hell does that mean? I feel like it's the same process, but they right. actually. Well, like I mean, but then the, the there's just. Sure, but I guess, like, who's... Are they going into the robot still? No, I like, think I guess? that they just come out and the robot's lifeless. Then why? And they've well, I guess, yeah, it's, it's a lifeless so, robot. It's yeah, not, they must have They're, they're also not, like, robots in terms of, like, mechanical. Like, they're bio-mechanical. Well, yeah, okay. We're, I mean, but, you know. Not people. <laughs> right. <laughs> I guess they kind of are. They're totally, like... Anyway, I don't know. Like androids or <laughs> so right, I'll finish actually typing this thing here. Mm -hmm. Would that make sense? He was born into a Kratokin cult because the Kratokin were the first people to discover how to ascend into a Titan as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, man. Nice. Yeah, I was going to try to find a little bit more about what the human lords are, but to hell with it, I'll leave that there. Yes. Freedom. All right.
right. It so, is Shady's um, turn. Is it my turn? Yes. Yeah, Starling. I think I think Eric goes after you. But no, he just it goes. A... He does the legacies. The person who get, went after Eric yeah, right the before you. That. Yeah, and so again goes to you, and then I will get the legacy at the end of your turn. Oh, how yeah. did we get backwards? Oh, because I was at the top. Right. That's right. I was looking at the Discord. Oh, uh, not how we the Discord oh, it's, it must not Discorder. Oh, yeah. Um. Do we want to take a uh, break here? Uh, yes, we back? definitely need to take a break. Yep. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. It is Eric next, by the way. Oh, okay. well, then well, you were supposed After to do you... the legacy. Yeah, then it should have been your legacy. Yeah. We, You can just do the next legacy, I guess. That's right. easier, right? Yeah, absolutely. Does that, does that... Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, all right, everybody, we are going to air. I'm going to transition us back to camera. All right, yeah, we are going to take a, a quick uh, uh, five, ten minute break. Ten minute break? Ten minute break. Yeah, ten minute break. A 50, ten minute break. A 50, ten minute break. Um, and we will be right back. Brett, you want to you wanna sign us out of the break here? Yeah. Hey, guys, everybody, welcome. Um, hi. This, uh, we, we do other things, not just this. Um, this is our Thursday thing, which is not always microscope. We, 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 uh, it's it's kind of a a DM and world building and uh, all things behind the scenes of RP um, workshop, if you will. Um, <clears throat> we do it every Thursday. We have a podcast that comes out every other Friday, which will be next Friday, not this Friday, and comes out on Monday for our Patreon our patrons. Um, it is it's called Dragons of Fairyland. It's a real play podcast. Um, we do a real play stream every other Monday. Um, I think that's next Monday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's this one yeah. coming up. Um, and we have a Discord community with all sorts of people on it, and uh, it's a really great community. You should join it and hang out with us. You can find it below um, below the video here. There's a bunch of little squares. Click the one that says Discord. Um, that one. And, and join, our, join our community there. Um, also, if you like what we do and you are um, interested in, in financially supporting us, um, we would love that. Um, I mean, you can you can support us just by joining our Discord and hanging out with us. But if you if you have the money to spend, um, there's little perks and rewards you can get from that. We do a monthly Free giveaway. Stuff. Yep. Um, which I think actually drops tomorrow. I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh and all that stuff so you can check the patreon out as well it's below the thingy here um and we're always working on new stuff so um hang out and continue to come back follow us subscribe to us and we will continue to do our best to provide you with tabletop entertainment Mm -hmm. of a large variety all right everybody we'll be back in 10 minutes And we're back, back from break. Hi, everybody who is watching, and hi, everybody who is watching the recording of this. You we can are. just, everybody who's still, not watching still just the recording watching. Of this. Well, no, you can't no. communicate. Yeah. <laughs> I can too. I tried to figure out Monster Cat, and I couldn't. That's too bad. So if any of y'all have an idea of, like, music that we can yes. play. That we won't get flag done do, for copywriting do, 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 no uh, not that one <laughs> anything if anybody suggests suggests eric do, do, in do, the doing, background yes it's not that it won't be picked it'll won't. be ignored. <laughs> we won't do it those submissions will be put in the trash all right i'm going to go back to our microscope uh, hello game. girl from me panina come on <laughs> it is Shady's turn. It's not. It's actually Eric's turn. It again. is yep, Eric's it is. turn. We screwed up the turn order. What? Oh yeah, we did. Yep. That's but right. Yes. So it goes. Um. So I should have used this time. I mean, I did yeah. obviously use this time yeah. to prepare and come up with a concept mm-hmm, and thing mm-hmm. that I was. I didn't just sit here and waste a. All right, time. No, why, why would you do that? That would be foolish. But, um, yeah, so. I 
the focus uh here will in fact uh be i think i want it to be neopolitan titan uh-huh <laughs> i am gonna i think put titans uh but I think that encompasses several different things that are not necessarily just called titans right. in our in our creation. But yeah, here. like at least half a dozen. <laughs> it is, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> I think it, and I'm going to rule right now that it includes gatekeepers. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, that's, that that's gatekeepers fine. are like elven titans, essentially. Ooh, um, sexy. I think. <laughs> With the outburst. <laughs> I like that. Crank it up to 11 here. Um, but yes. I guess I could just do the the gatekeepers alone and then force yeah. us all to talk about the yeah, how they're but I but I can't really dictate that. I'm going to do Titans uh include Okay. All right. So you're just giving me free reign to make as many Titans as I want to now, right? That's what this means. Get, no. Get ready for the glitter titans. Okay. All extant types Damn of it. titans. Damn it. How about that. Yeah. That's not <laughs> fair. <laughs> How no fucking glitter you? titans. God. I was so happy and calmed and relaxed by the thought of a world without glitter for like <laughs> 10 whole seconds earlier. That was great. It's just soothing. <laughs> You we really don't, don't get yet. enough of that in your life, do you? <laughs> well, worlds without <laughs> glitter? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like next time I see you, Eric, Stop. I'm going to have a gift for you. Yeah, if it's a glitter bomb, I will. I've threatened it before. Just do and, horrible yeah. things. Like, I'm I'll overreact. Something that you'll really, really <laughs> like, right? <laughs> but covered in glitter. <laughs> see, you like, won't like I it will. anymore. Yeah, not that's a bad thing now. <laughs> like it is so evil because it's something I like that's covered in glitter. Oh man, my parents it's sent gonna me put a shirt that dollars. has like sparklies on it, and I had to. It's in a Ziploc bag. I don't want to throw it out because it's something my parents got me. Sorry, guys, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna just put a hundred thousand dollars in a locked box, and the only way to open the box is to solve one of those ball puzzles where you have to drag like guide a ball through a maze you know with with gravity it's on one side of the box but every time you tip the box a little bit of glitter falls out hmm so that's a, that's safe from me yeah well there's a hundred thousand dollars on the inside so safe gonna, for me <laughs> just like oh okay <laughs> hundred thousand dollar glitter box or i'll probably just wear gloves and break it open but uh Actually, like a full. I've, I mean, I've even got masks and stuff. I could, I, sure, I could yeah. handle that with a hammer. I would just Probably shower not like in your times apartment. afterward. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right, you outside. Take, you very careful. <laughs> take it outside. Yeah. Remove I'm gonna open the all money. the packages I get from you guys outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is that money is gonna dollars. have fucking glitter on it. Right. Forever. No, that's, that's the thing. Forever. Forever. Okay. I've got Put it in the microwave. Things. Clean the glitter right yeah, off. Yeah, just perfect. how does that? That doesn't. It no. <laughs> doesn't. It'll it's burn impossible. the glitter, but not the money. That's the, you got to just burn the money. the money. It's the only way to get it free of of the glitters. Uh, yeah. Burn, burn the money and run. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> A classic. Yes. Eighties <laughs> western. <Yeah. single. laughs> burn the money and run. Uh, By the okay. pretenders. By the pretend, <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. Them are the cranberries. I don't remember. Is that funny? I think that's funny. That was yeah. No. Uh, what have you done nope. here? You done nothing, because I've been distracted. Um, We're filling the empty silence. I know, and I'm engaged in it, and no! it's a problem. I can't help disengage, it. Disengage. 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 All of my juice is gone. Mm. <laughs> my wife has stolen my juice. Juiced you good, huh? Left me with not a drop. Not a drop of juice. I've got a little this bit. This just in. in. Shady's been juiced. I've been juiced dry. I don't like it. Juiced dry. Sounds like a personal problem. 
I like I like what this is turning into here. This is nice. <laughs> it's start, it's, it's we're starting good. to connect some very like not great connections and making them a little bit more right intelligible, yeah. which yeah. is nice. We're There's, really hopping all over the place there for a minute. There's some surface stuff developing, you know. Some, some I like how we destroyed the last Titan back in Act One. Right. This is the That's last Titan. Yeah, but now they're Neo Titans and fucking Nether Titans and Neo The last Titans. normal Titan died. Everyone was like, hey, you know those Titans? Those are neat. And then everyone thought Let's that. Let's go ahead and make so, a bunch of those. Yeah, everyone made their own. Yep. Um, okay, so... Fuck. I guess... Defeat of the last Titan. Um... Boom, 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 boom. Sorry. It's like Final Fantasy, you know? It is. It's basically yeah. fucking Final Fantasy X. Like, yep, yep. I love this a lot because of that. It's ooh. Can um, we get a blitz ball? Can we yeah. get a blitz ball? <laughs> I want to be a blitz can ball. I when I grow up. Ball. <laughs> ball. Since everyone who's been ascended into a titan, you have to play soccer. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Establishment of oh, no. the Titan Ball there League. You know is silly and unnecessary but what are they going to do when they're not slaughter you know <laughs> slaughtering whatever uh-huh. evil it is that they're right you know defending i'm not sure why we have titans though that's the problem i guess well, they fight each other they fight each other the titan so. war it's, it's, well it's, they i think they originally showed up to fight the other titans right or the gate sure. or whatever you know. Yeah, it's right. a Godzilla Humanity situation. Right. And then they just sort of started slaughtering each other once they couldn't <laughs> slaughter other things anymore. It's After all, the same. AI players were dead. Human way. They, yeah. No, they, the Titans are dead before they make the first Titan, the Neo Titan. They make the, the, so. the Kratikan Mages made the first Neo Titan to, to subjugate. The Kratikan Mages are just terminals, Ass versions of, of terrorists, basically. Yeah. At the end of the day. Goodness gracious. This is. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm I'm having so much trouble here. I'm I'm way too seriously considering adding Titan Ball. To no, that. do it. Um, do whatever terrible. your heart desires. We desires. We can't do that. Okay. All right. Pepper Bolly, who's going to be a famous uh, Titan Ball player? Oh, guys. that's how. Oh man, that makes so much sense. Went from cave dipping to Titan Ball. Star of the Xanarkin Apes. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to, to hear what his Titan name is. Pan. The Titan Ball. Hang on. I want to... Make sure right. there isn't a better, uh, better one. Yeah. Titan cross. I don't know. That doesn't. No would do Titan ball. I really, I think Titan ball is pretty straightforward. Titan fall. Titanfall 2. Right? Maybe it's just like first person shooters. Like real life first person shooters. Those are called gunfights. <laughs> real talk. Yeah. They are, in fact, called that. Um, Firefights also. Yeah. <laughs> You'll so want you to avoid them if you can. It's from what I've been told. Right. Um, <laughs> so I've heard. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Uh, so, Paper Bali, who becomes a star player in the newly established United Titan Ball, United Titan Ball League. Ooh, that's um, good. The UTL. Mm-hmm. Um, One step away yeah. from UTI. Yep. It's about as exciting. It's just as many <laughs> as you want. <laughs> um, okay, so I think it'll be after they kind of uh, get into... A um, I should have just done to change the focus to Titan Ball. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, but uh, but I think, I think it's should... after they what? I, I was just gonna say United Titan Ball International has a better better ring to mm, it. Cause <laughs> you, it's it. you don't no uh, don't don't do 
No. In, in trying Stick with Leaf. No. United Titan Ball International. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking International Titan Ball League, so it didn't click until I said it the other way around. And no, it's, it's like, okay. oh, yeah. so you get UTI. UTI, still. yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow no, UTI. Yellow. It's an exciting night at the UTI, friends. <laughs> it sure <laughs> is, Frank. Oh, the excitement God. is um, burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got him. Awful. It's horrible. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, after, 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 after. I'm just farting up a storm over here. A fart storm. Fart storm, yep. Better get the spear. You're, you're entering the poop realm. Better be careful. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. Had scared. we not a sense that says the same place? They're adjacent. Anyway, the They're neighbors. His neighbors. Um, oh, God. The... <laughs> okay, so it's passed. All right, sweet. He can not, he can ascend into a Titan and not break any rules. Uh, just, yeah, you don't want to cave dip as a Titan. It's hard to fit in the tunnels. <laughs> yeah, he's after that, but it's also after he wasn't the first pilot, so right. he can uh do it still. All right. Um uh into a Yes. Oh, good. Oof. Oh, my internet just died there for a second. Oh, that'd be bad. That'd that be really bad. Good. That'd be terrible. We wouldn't have internet. No. Um, <laughs> lose the stream and everything. The relaxed. So it's, yeah, basically a bunch of Titans sitting around not doing shit. Um, and I'm probably just going to do the one. Uh, fucking event again like a like a nub um and leave it at that because i don't want to nest anything into that nice um do we want to keep on rolling through the rest to the rest of this turn here might as well or? finish the turn okay yeah. all righty um finish typing here and get it connected sorry I've got a good idea. My idea is better. Yeah, Stop. Whose turn? It's, uh, it's, I think it's Brett's turn, right? Who goes next? Going down? Me. I don't know. Just me. <laughs> Where are you connecting okay. this? The, the it's going to go under the, like, right after the cave dip and situation, okay. basically. Cool. Um, right Perfect. now. Okay. So we have to determine. How Bradley Toppin uses the spear thingy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are going to make a thing. Actually, I'll just put it in as a scene. I'll do a dictated scene. Okay. Oh boy, inside oh of the Great Flood. Um, okay. And it's going to be. How does Exarch Toppin <laughs> I like it. use the what's it called? Um, Spear, Spear of Artemis. Artemis. Spear of Artemis. Focus is Titans. Right. Throwing that out there. So what? the focus is Titans, so it has to be something right, right, about right, 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 right. Okay. okay. Using the Neo Titan technology. On a captured um, gatekeeper. Ooh. Okay. The first, wait for it, Micro Titan. 
God damn it. Ah. <laughs> it's great. Hey, hold on. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, all extant times. We can't create new titans. <laughs> It's goddamn it's gonna have to no, that in a band. Gatekeepers. So Nana Nana Boo Boo, stick your head in poo poo. Um first micro titan, Chiron. Is no, <laughs> oh god, no. C H I R O N okay. Is not Chiron. 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 <laughs> totally different. <laughs> totally different name. Cheerion. Cheerio. Cheron. <laughs> Cheron. Actually, what? What? Uh, Neo Titans have been very um, who carries the souls of the newly deceased. Oh, Micro Titans. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. You want so Micro Titans? Let's see. We have Artemis is in the Titans. So that and the the original Titans are seems like Hindu. We got. Mm-hmm. Um, fucking what? Uh, Micro Titans are are Greek, I guess. I don't. This is um, is that Roman? I don't remember which kind. Chiron is, is Greek. Okay, uh, I like C H yeah. I V. Yeah, which is good because it's a centaur. It's a half half horse, half man, or whatever you know, and badly top <laughs> right. man. Oh, okay, all right. And I think we had determined that the gatekeepers were centaurs. <laughs> were uh, were like four legged when when oh. when they went into the, the the blue vault or some shit. I think there was a gatekeeper that they interacted with. Oh, was it? I thought it was just one of the random yeah, like bits wasn't, and bobs of. It wasn't is that a gatekeeper? Known as a gatekeeper then? at that okay. time. Okay. But they're okay. the small. They're the small ones. Cool. They're All right. Guys. Gatekeepers are like the big versions of whatever. Sure. Uh, sure. All right. Yeah. No, no, no. He's like he's I feel a little like... guy. They're they're like human sized, instead of Which? being like Gundams. Uh, gatekeepers. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, creating a. Oh. Okay. Where was I? Okay. So they're just like the general shit running around. Yeah. Kind of thing. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, so, um, how does Exarch Toppin use the spear of Artemis? They're using the Neo Titan technology on a captured gatekeeper. The first Micro Titan Chiron is bonded with the venerable Bradley Toppin, um, creating a, and then it, it didn't cut off the edit. Yeah. Um, allowing him to use the weapon cool yeah got it okay so he's and that's how he lives forever but that's already Uh, it's been a while yeah yeah he's a a venerable one he's already got to be old doesn't seem like i mean he's revolution or the age of broken artifacts is an exceedingly long period of time and he could find other ways to increase his lifespan robot head (laughs) <laughs> Which is funny because later in that, in that, in that act, in that whatever, he he's um, he's used in a ritual, maybe not killed, but at least used in a ritual. No oh, shit, no, but he would be perfect for that because he's now right. a micro titan. Who? That's cool. I like that. Whatever it is, because now he's like on their wavelength or something, so they can like he's been connected. To, I there's that's something that's cool. I like that. That's very interesting. It's like a different connection that we. I don't know. It's fun to see that stuff happen when mm-hmm. we're going through. It's just like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like, <laughs> there's that like slushy area between when you have like the first couple bits and then like a whole mess of stuff. That's like, oh god, a bunch of open ends, and then like stuff starts tying together like this now, and it's like, all right, there's like a thing happening. This is interesting. <laughs> Super mecha, happy robot, fun time, all the time. Okay, it's my turn. Yeah, titans. I'm creation. I'm creating the Nether Titans. 
Weren't they this already? Might, this might this almost... discovery of yep. the Nether Titans is down the road. Okay. Yep. Okay. They were Let's naturally see. occurring last time. Just yeah, but <laughs> obviously we've we changed a fair changed amount of what. Things. Yeah. yeah. We've got to figure out what the hell they are. Are they? Uh, so I Hold think on. that they're 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 used. Ooh. Yeah, the Nether site is used in their construction. Gotcha. And then. The, yeah, using tech in the Pipper Vault. Okay. So there's like a, a, it's not like a, as, it's not like an infinitely reproducible tech or something. Whereas the right. Titans, they maybe have, or not infinite, but like there isn't a very small number of shits that they can use to do it. Whereas this, since we have a no to them understanding, you know, recreating right. the old tech is kind of what it is now. Um, cause it seems that we're sort of, they're sort of able to understand it, but they're just right. not able to reproduce. Um, yeah, we, we have kind of maybe skirted around breaking that, that rule. Yeah. Several yeah I flexed times. it a bit here, but I mean, man, eh. that's how it goes. Harder to find things like you can't use old technology, but, or you can't advance technology. You know what I mean? Because we didn't yeah, say that's... we can't advance it. You know, but yeah, so you know, yeah, and and then depending on how much time we are talking about here, there's potentially huge chunks of uh, you know, and yeah, depending on and what era we're talking, you, know, you could have a lot of technological development over a certain 50 year chunk or something, and then we've got several of those sized chunks here, I feel like. So Using the technology found in the Pipper Vault, which I like the name of very, right. very, very much. Um, a secret group of scientists from the free cities using a new nether site technology find a way to incorporate the material directly into the their construction. Uh, it's a, oh, into... Or sorry, yeah, into... Yeah. But, uh, but where is that going? Right where it is. It's on top of something. That's it. No sign. Mm-hmm. It's like right on top of the one I just put in last time. Uh, I oh. moved it down. It, it moved down for me, but it must not have for him. Gotcha. Yeah, it just didn't update or something. Cool beans. Okay, there we go. Woo-woo. Uh, so then it goes back to Mr. E to finish off the turn. All right. Let's see here. Then. Sorry, just trying to figure out. What really needs stuff more than other places? Weakening of the knife here, subjugation. So, I think we do need, yeah, more of more of the actual subjugation of yeah. uh, uh, elves in the elven subjugation period. So, I'm going to slide all of this down a touch, and I think I will be putting in an uh. That has to do with uh, the, actually, yeah, it's got to be, okay. I might just be doing one again. But, um, so this will be the, uh, oh, shit, should we call them the Titan Wars? That's kind of lame. Uh, da, 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 da. I suppose so. Um... Oh, this is after. I 
What you doing? Uh, the pacification would be a Neo Titan led, uh, sort of offensive military action thing to, um, you know, take over, uh, an Elven holding. I'll give a proper name to here. In a okay. Or wait, no, they've got to be. It's it's probably not humanity core. Hold on. Boop 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 boop. Uh, let's see. Guess we'll do Confederacy. Three cities. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, boom, boom, boom. To Yes, I am uh, my elven inhabitation vaults. I guess are a thing, but okay. um, whatever. Elmhurst is going to be a different uh, version of that, I guess. I like it. Um, anyway, um, I think at that point wasn't everybody still living in term in in uh, vaults? No, no. Pure subjugation. No, because I we had the no formation idea. of the free cities. formation of the free cities. Yeah, yeah. no, that happened previously. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, and begin to blah 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 formation of and begin to. Sorry, where do the elves create the? Didn't they create something using the staff? Uh, that's below knife fear subjugation, the great flood. No, no they use the staff that. to create habitation right there. Establishment of the Fellowship, predominantly elven population, which sets up several habitation domes powered by the Spear of Artemis. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is like post-subjugation, though, I imagine, since, I mean, a lot of them got flooded, apparently, yeah. in the, uh, or whatever. Like that's know, after yeah. the subjugation, the, 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 the Fellowship. Right. Right. Okay. All right, that seems fair, because then it could just be... It just seems like the elves don't have access to the habitation domes within the you know, the free cities or whatever, um, because they they set up habitation domes later. Not me. Well, they could have set up like new ones or something, right. I guess. Again, but you're right though. There is kind of a a thing there. Yeah. Now, when I created the Great Flood, I I did that thinking that there were not habitation domes. I could very easily change that to their their habitation mm. domes got flooded. Yeah. I mean, um, so it for doesn't continuity change. Sake, I mean, they could also have habitation vaults. Like, you know, right. that doesn't, I mean, there could just be a bunch of vaults that a bunch of elves took over or something that I've been living out of or something like that, too. Okay. Um, I, I think that's probably what it seems like elves are kind oh, of maybe pushed that's out what on happens the fringes after the of society. Yeah. Right. Is so that the pacification happens. They have to flee there. They go to the, to the sort of a refugee rivet right. city kind of situation happening. Okay. And, they That's uh weird. and then like Toppin shows up and is like, no, fuck this. And 
this is what you get for not being enslaved or whatever, I guess. And um, <laughs> this is what you get for not being enslaved. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> right? Like, right. I mean, that's that's what he's. I think our our premise here. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do because there isn't a okay. scene of value that I can think of to nest inside of that, um, which is lame because there's a ton of stuff that probably that I should be able to think of, but. That way we can also end it without me trying to um and all my way through another 10 minutes of uh, putting together another freaking book. Phenomena. <laughs> do, do, wow. do, do, do. All right. So then that, that I guess I will do the thing. This yeah. Time. The thing. So you do the legacy. Um, I'm going to choose Carl Dion von, von Hamaroth. That's what I did. Um, and I, well, I'm going to choose one first because I don't, okay. don't want to okay. keep the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers. Um, okay. I do want to keep, uh, let's see, what came into play this turn? Karen, what did you play? Uh, I did. The creation of another yes. Kings, right? Yep. Okay. Um, you can do Titan Ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh, do the Pacification um, or Elmhurst or something like that. Right. I'll just keep the gatekeepers for now. Um, I'll expand on Carl von Hamrath, though. Um, okay. He is going to do something special. Carl, or I guess at this point, King. Um, King. Ooh. King the Great Devourer. Right. <laughs> King Devourer. Wait, do we eat kings? No, no, no. It's my name. <laughs> King Devourer. <laughs> <laughs> Just gobble him up. Nah, nah, nah. Well, well. One day we'll have a thing in the Great Awakening. I forgot it wasn't a, or a period. Um, I wasn't scrolled over far enough. Carl Vaughn. Vaughn Hammersmith. <laughs> Hem Hemrith. Hemrith. Call to arms. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you do before you get tickets to a gun <laughs> show. That's dumb. Uh Ooh, God, that's bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. They were slumbering, though. That's cool. Ooh, okay. Somebody got them, got them to sleep. The Great Awaken. That's, yes. yep, makes sense. Nice. All right. <laughs> awaken, awaken, awaken. <laughs> Called Arms, King Von Homerith uses Somnus's horn to awaken the, the te Somnus. nether titans okay. from their slumber in the ruined tunnels. Nice. Solid. All right. Well, that concludes the turn and this we done did episode it. of Table 13. I'm going to transfer us back to the, the screen. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're still here. We're still yeah. here. And you One can't of these days, get I'm going to wrap my arms around like Kyron or Eric, and it'll yeah. be really a scene. Yep. It'll be just um, amazing. Thank you for joining us tonight yes. on this, uh, this, this weekly um but broadcast of, of a rational radio um, yes if you would like to join us um in our discord it is located below the video Why? um what <laughs> <laughs> if you think that the content that we provide is is worth at least a dollar um head over to our patreon and, and pledge there yes. are um different perks and things that you can get and uh you will um over if you if you do five dollars or more, you are entered into a monthly drawing. Um, we create other stuff too. We produce a bi-weekly podcast that is Why? <laughs> released on Friday on every other Friday. Um, it is called Dragons of Paralandia and can be found on Spotify. Or not Spotify, yes, yeah, Spotify. It can be found there. It, it can, can be, be found, found there. there. And nice. and other places like Apple Podcasts and yep. stuff like that. Um, yep. you can also tune in on every other Monday for Gods of Aether and this one coming up. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, if you are that, already on Discord and you are already a five dollar Patreon, then next or tomorrow, next day, <laughs> no one says tomorrow. that tomorrow day. Uh, there is a drawing, so you may make it. You something. may win a fancy pantsy DM, unless um, Kane no wins again, thing. which could very well happen. We know <laughs> that he, has, he has rigged our system, but it's okay. Fear not. Fear not. What? What did I do? No, Kane. We were talking oh, about giving his old things. things. Yeah, yes. he popped oh, in tonight too, so you know he's going to win tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you next week. Goodbye!